So this is how you unbox the HP Smart Tank 585 All-in-One printer. We have just shown you the unboxing, setting up the printer by filling in the ink tanks, installing the pin heads, loading the paper, as well as getting it connected to the wireless network and delivering your first printout. This is the HP Smart Tank 585 wireless all-in-one printer. This is a high capacity ink tank printer that has got 6,000 pages of color or 6,000 pages of black right out of the box. It features print, scan and copy. We're going to unbox this printer and get it set up. We'll show you how to connect to the wireless network, fill the ink tanks, and do a first printout. So let's unbox the printer. So this is what you see once you open up the box. It has got the print heads, the ink as well as the power cable as shown over here. It also comes with a USB cable. So let's remove the printer from the box by laying the box on the side and pulling on the plastic wrap. It has got the setup and reference guide. Let's remove the plastic wrapping. Let's remove the packaging tapes from the printer. So this links to a cardboard. There's a piece of cardboard over here. We need to remove and discard. Open the scanner lid and remove the protective film. Next, let's power on the printer by plugging one end of the power cable into the wall socket and plug the other end into the printer. You will notice that once you turn the power on at the wall socket, the printer will automatically power on. If it does not power on, simply press on the power button located over here. You need to keep the printer on during the setup. Next step, you can either use the guided setup with HP Smart App or you can do a manual setup. We will show you how to do a manual setup. For manual setup, we will need to fill the ink tanks first. These are the ink bottles that come in box. Remove them from this packaging. There's a tear tab over here where you can tear and remove the ink bottles from its packaging. Next, open the front door. We'll fill the black ink tank first. So open the cap. Twist the cap open and place it over the 
ink tank. Press it down to fill the ink tank. You can see that the ink will start filling up the ink tank. Do note that the black ink bottle will have leftover ink. Keep the leftover ink for future top-ups of the ink tank. Close the tank cap and repeat the procedure for the other colored ink bottles. The ink tanks are filled. Close the front door. After filling the ink tanks, we'll install the print heads. So let's remove the print heads from its packaging by tearing on the tear tab over here. That's for the tricolor. And that's for the black print heads. To install print heads, first open the front door. We need to push down the blue latch. Then remove the orange cut by pulling it out and maintaining in this position so that there will not be any ink leaks. Discard the orange cut. To install the print heads, first remove the orange cap. Then peel off the tape. Be careful not to touch the electrical contacts or even the nozzles. Push in the print heads into the left carriage. Make sure you push it all the way until it snaps in place. Repeat for the black print heads. Once that is done, you need to latch back the blue latch. Close the front door. Next, let's load paper. Pull out the paper tray and slide out the paper guide. The guide is over here. You need to slide it all the way to the left. Take a stack of unused paper and load it in. Push the paper guide until it just touches the paper. Paper is loaded and you will notice that it will immediately print an alignment page. Pull out the tray extender. Once the alignment page is printed, follow the instructions and scan the alignment page. Place the alignment page face down onto the scanner glass. Align it to the top left hand corner. Then close the scanner lid. On the control panel, Press on the blinking 
copy button to scan the alignment page. When the blinking icon alphabet A disappears, the alignment is done. The printer hardware setup is done after the printed alignment is done. You need to install the HP Smart Software on your computer or on your phone to finish the setup. For setting up and getting the printer connected to the wireless network, you will use an Android phone. So let's go to Play Store and download HP Smart. We'll install HP Smart App. Let's open the app. Welcome to HP Smart. We'll accept all. We'll create an account to use the HP Smart App. Let's create account. We need to check our email for the 6 digit numeric code. We'll select verify button to verify our email address. Your account has been verified. We can return to the HP Smart App. Let's continue. Let's add printer. We'll set up a new printer. It will be connected over Wi-Fi. Let's continue. Here are some instructions to get the printer ready to connect over Wi-Fi. Let's continue. We'll allow HP Smart. We'll allow the using location data while using the app. It has found our printer. Select that. We need to enter our Wi-Fi password. Do note, we need to change network because this printer only supports 2.4 GHz network. So let's change network. We'll select Technology Tips 2.4 GHz network. Enter the password for the 2.4 GHz network. Once the password is key in, select connect. Once we have selected the 2.4 GHz network, enter the Wi-Fi password. Once the password is key in, select continue. We need to press the flashing information button on our printer. Let's do that. The printer is connected to Wi-Fi. Let's continue. Connected printing services. Let's accept all. We need to select our country or region. We'll select it as Singapore. And continue. For printer updates, We'll select Auto Update since that is the recommended option. Let's apply.
The setup is complete. Let's print a document. Tap on print. So this is the first printout from your HP Smart Tank 585 printer. For print from other devices, we'll select not right now. The setup is complete. And on the HP Smart App, you can see the icon for HP Smart Tank 585. So this is how you unbox the HP Smart Tank 585 all-in-one printer. We have just shown you the unboxing, setting up the printer by filling in the ink tanks, installing the print heads, loading the paper, as well as getting it connected to the wireless network and delivering your first printout.